Welcome to episode two of Gyo Kyo, talking about Buddhism. And today is a really special day. I'm not sure if I actually got this out on September 1st, but I'm recording it on September 1st. And this marks 25 years since I moved out to Berkeley to study Buddhism. Before that, uh, I was in a band called Jiggle the Handle and playing in kind of the Boston area. Uh, but during college, I'd also kind of discovered Buddhism. And so Buddhism and music were kind of these parallel tracks that my life was on. And at some point, not that I lost interest, but just, I guess I kind of did because Buddhism was just so interesting and I was studying and reading as much as I could and discovered Institute of Buddhist Studies in Berkeley, California and realized I want to go there. It was actually a really interesting process. I had been reading and you know learning as much as I could, and I had received one of um, the Institute of Buddhist Studies journals, the Pacific World, but it was too hard when I got it. And but this this one day I pulled it down. I remember I was in my parents' house, opened it up, and inside it had a description, and it said, "We are a graduate school for Buddhism," and. I realized, oh, that's what grad school is for. I had had friends who went to grad school after college. And to me, I was like, I don't know what you people are doing. I'm out of here. I'm done. I finally made it. Finally done with school. But I, I realized with this, oh, graduate school is where you go when you want to learn about something. And you get to study with teachers and people who know experts, you know. And so I thought, that's what I want to do. I want to go to grad school to study Buddhism. And it was almost like a physical sensation of something turning inside me. I just knew this was what I wanted to do. Then I kept reading. And it said, we are also a seminary for training ministers of Buddhist Churches of America. And like one light bulb had gone off, grad school. And another light bulb went off, ministry. Of course, I don't want to do this as an academic, some kind of intellectual exercise. I'm Buddhist. I'd, I'd, I'd come to that realization already. And that's, a, that's another talk, but um, you know, I realized, wow, I, wanna, I don't want to do this as an academic. I want to do it as a minister, right? As, as like a practicing Buddhist. And that must have been the summer of 95, and, or before that maybe, because I quit the band about summer of 95. It took me a year to um, get stuff together, save up some money, take a class um, in order to be able to meet the entrance requirements. And then September 1st, 1996, I hopped on a plane and flew out to the Bay Area uh, and started school in the fall and went to IBS, ended up going to Japan and went to Ryukoku and got ordained in 2006. So, so actually, oh yeah, that's another anniversary. <laughs> I forgot. Um, this is also an anniversary. Twin, what, 15 years as a BCA minister today. My official assignment was September 1st, 2006 at um, Lodi Buddhist Church, Buddhist Church of Lodi. So, you know, I've been kind of thinking back to 25 years ago, half my life. Uh, I'll be 51 in October and just kind of trying to remember how I felt at the time, you know, when I was um, getting ready to come out here. I think I was excited, scared. Uh, I wasn't a great student by any means. I was actually a pretty bad student. And just, it's, it's kind of hard to remember because, you know, I've learned so much since then and studied so much. I <laughs> read a lot, you know, learned a lot. I think I was much more idealistic at the time. And, I, you know, I gave away CDs. Um, I gave away instruments. I, was, I, was, I, I felt like I was embarking on a totally new path and was going to put music behind me. I stopped playing music for several years, five or six years. But after a while, I realized, oh, that's not what I'm, that's not what this kind of Buddhism is about. And Jodo Shinshu Buddhism is more living everyday life, becoming your foolish self, right? Not trying to perfect yourself. I'm not a monk, obviously, um, but, you know, uh, we're not a monastic, celibate kind of, of uh, path. Uh, I personally don't think we're a bodhisattva path either. 
it's again uh, this this uh, part of Jodo Shinshu that's kind of different than other kinds of Buddhism, where it's less about me trying to perfect myself, me trying to right on this this war spiritual warrior trying to uh, become selfless. Instead, it's more recognizing I just can't do that. Whether it's my ego that's always operating and that I can never subvert, or how the three poisons of attachment, anger, and, and ignorance manifest themselves spontaneously when I least realize it. But our path occurs within that context. And those things are actually, to me, recognizing those things in my life are part of this path. So if I catch myself, like I, I talked about in the last episode of hubris and arrogance, right? I catch myself like that, see it. Don't rail against it. Oh, I can't believe I did that again. And, uh, oh, so stupid. I have to try harder next time. Sometimes you try harder to do stuff like that and it just gets worse, which is kind of what it seems happened to Shinran, um, the founder of this school. So instead, I believe it's more of a path of living my life, trying to be the best person I can be, um, but also open to those times when I'm not, open to those times uh, when I get angry or my desires take over uh, or I, you know, arrogance maybe as, as an, the opposite of ignorance. No, sorry, a supreme manifestation of ignorance, right? The opposite of wisdom. Uh, you know, that's one of the things, technical things about ignorance in Buddhism. It's ignorance of Buddha's teachings. And maybe uh, one of the key ones is thinking that I know who and what I am when actually a lot of that is illusion. Right? The, um, this, the idea of no self that I mentioned last time as well. Uh, that most of the time I feel pretty c comfortable that, yeah, I am me, right? I have this self, uh, and yet um, that's one of the stumbling blocks in, in that path. In our path, it acknowledges I can't get beyond that. Yeah, I'm me, right? Uh, but understanding myself too, uh, I believe, is really important. Reflecting on myself, realizing when my ego asserts itself or anger flares up. And one thing maybe I haven't talked about, Namo Amida Butsu. Namo Amida Butsu, the Nembutsu, right? This is part of the life of a Jodo Shinshu follower or practicer. And so it's not only thinking about stuff, it's living uh, and reciting Namo Amida Butsu. And in that process, realizing, oh, instead of me chasing after enlightenment, trying to grab it, it's realizing, oh, enlightenment's coming to me all the time. That I'm not separate from everything. Uh, that actually, Amida Buddha's compassion, whether I want to think of it as that, or my loved ones who have helped and supported me so much, whether I was aware of it or not, and for me, most of the time, not. Uh, awakening to that, awakening to uh, the interconnectedness of all things and all beings. Not by, you know, thinking about it and, and, and uh, meditating on it and, and, and um, you know, trying to make that realization happening, but kind of relaxing into it by listening to the teachings, uh, but also living my life, reflecting on myself, reflecting on my relationships, and saying, Namo Amida Butsu, reciting the Nembutsu, um, because really that Namo Amida Butsu is coming to me. So, happy 25th anniversary to me and 15th anniversary to me, and also happy BCA founding day, because that's the other thing about today. September 1st, 1899, BCA looks to, as our uh, Buddhist Churches of America, as the founding of it, with two ministers coming from Japan to San Francisco in 1899. So it's a really kind of historic day too uh, for Buddhist Churches of America and obviously a really uh, meaningful day for me. Uh, and so I'm gonna keep thinking about stuff. I can't help it. <laughs>
right? Uh, but today, those are the thoughts that I wanted to share. So thanks a lot. Uh, please subscribe. I'm going to build up this channel. Uh, hit the like button uh, if you like uh, what you hear. And also uh, get in touch, whether it's in the comments or uh, you can email me or uh, whatever, you know, if there's stuff you want me to talk about. Okay, thanks a lot. Take care, everybody.